obsessed with sex. The story, at its core, is a family saga and follows in a long tradition of gothic horror and fiction, often dealing with a dysfunctional family unit. The puzzle box, named the Lament Configuration, is only a tool for unleashing the horrors within the unsuspecting Cotton family. When Frank Cotton escapes the clutches of the Cenobites, explorers and pleasure from Hay, he seeks the help of his brother's wife and his ex-lover to bring him the blood he needs to be brought back to life. She uses sex to entice men to the house where she feeds them to Frank so that she can be with him again. Towards the end of the film, she actually sleeps with him whilst he wears his own brother's skin. It's the relationship that drives this film, just in a deeply twisted way. For all the dark adult themes, the film does have a hero in the form of Kirsty Cotton, daughter of Larry and niece to Frank. Ashley Lawrence, genuinely 16 years old, plays the character perfectly conveying her fear and horror, but also her strength. She fights the skinless Frank and bargains with the Cenobites. She gives the audience someone to root for, and her chemistry with Andrew Robinson is environment to resonate with her more. For his part, Andrew Robinson switches perfectly between the weak and repressed Larry and the extroverted, headless Frank. The Cenobites, when they do appear, have a strong and terrifying image. For the lead Cenobite, who we later name Pinhead, is perhaps the ultimate in father figures, stern and to the point. The Cenobites here are not evil. They simply do their job, which just happens to involve the return of Dan Blair, 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 Blair. The Cenobites here are not evil. They simply do their job, which just happens to involve the Dan Blair. I wanted to say intern, but that's not right. The Cenobites here are not evil. They simply do their job, which just happens to involve the eternal experimentation of pleasure and pain. Much of the fear comes from the fact that they are completely indifferent to their victims. They are there to do their role, and they will not be dissuaded from this. Some of the effects are dated, of course, and the budget was tight. Some characters, mainly supportive roles, but also Frank, for some reason, adults. I am adult and still love such. The studio felt a British film might not sell well in the US, so attempted to hide this, despite the appearance of British rail trains and London landmarks and Bassett Power Station. These slight niggles aside, however, Hellraiser holds up remarkably well. The themes are timeless and the Cenobites are equally alluring and terrifying, presenting what Barker termed a repulsive glamour. At the end of the day, Hellraiser, 